birder say hi. hi. <laughs> Here's what it looks like without all the bracing and all the scaffolding up. It's all gone now. Get back, Carter. So yeah, now that the uh, main floor walls are poured and all the bracing's gone, I think the next thing that we're going to work on is the ICF grade beam for the garage. happened in the house since I walked around with the camera here we poured this all on Monday everything went really really well no problems whatsoever um, yeah it was way less stressful than the first time I guess a little bit of experience helps the way we did these window bucks really helped too we cut them cut them wide open instead of just those holes like last time that made it a lot easier to get everything in there I don't recommend doing those holes. Do cut them right out like this. And of course, the kids wanted to come write their names. And so it's all poured. I knocked all the boards out of the windows yesterday. Got a bunch of booby traps everywhere, nails sticking up. But that'll be our view out of our living room. Just gotta cover up the refinery with trees. Real nice view of the city. The one thing about ICF that always had me nervous is you pour your concrete and you basically take it on faith that everything consolidated correctly. You hope the guys vibrated right, you hope the concrete mix was right, but you never strip it and you never know. You just kind of hope. But I know the guys did a really good job here 
because I had to cut a couple of these open to tie the grade beams in. Remember, uh, I put these dowels in on the basement pour, and this is going to be our, our garage wall here. Ties in just the grade beam. It'll be wood on top of here. But look at that concrete. It is absolutely perfect. And this is on a corner where you can't vibrate. So he would have vibrated about here and about the same on the other side over here. But that is absolutely perfect. Got another one over here. This is a little uh, retaining wall. There's a little parking pad up here. Goes out past the driveway. But we got another spot here where it ties in. And it's absolutely perfect. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of... Uh, what do you call that now? What's the term for that? Can't remember. But perfect. Really, really good. The guys poured these footings for me this week too. And they laid out the corners again for me. Less is awesome. Less over it's risky. Finding those corners is tricky. Getting everything square. <clears throat> they have lots of little tricks they use. I kind of watched them the other day. It was kind of cool. They build these triangles, make sure everything's square. Yeah, they did an awesome job. There's one more of those places where we tie in over here. And the concrete is immaculate. It's perfect. So I imagine that's what it looks like everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We're awesome. Concrete, very hard material. It's as hard as rock. This is rebar. It's a kind of metal that people use for building houses. So I'm going to take you to the next thing that I'm going to show you in the garage. This is called a chalk line. So it puts chalk onto the concrete when you Flick it. This is called a laser. So that's a, that's it for part two and episode two of Garage Tour. So I'm gonna end this video right now. Peace out. <laughs>